What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to uh, set up a bait caster for beginners for y'all out there that uh like fishing and uh don't know how to use your bait caster just quite yet. Like like a professional, so I'm gonna show you some good settings and tips that will uh help you get better at casting a bait caster. So first you're gonna need a bait caster. I got my lose classic speed spool, speed stick, all that good stuff. You're gonna wanna put some good, uh, I would start out with a uh, mono line. It's easier to get uh, knots out than braid. And it's cheaper, most of the time. Just get you some cheap line. So you're probably gonna go through a bunch, unless you're just crazy with it. <laughs> Settings wise, you're gonna go to your brakes. This little knob right here. Some bait casters have different types of knobs, but this thing, you're gonna turn it There'll be a little max line, and there'll be like a no brakes line. You're gonna go about five clicks for max, so. I'll turn it to max and then go like five clicks away. All right, I'm gonna do six. Then you're gonna tighten your tension all the way up. You're gonna have to have kind of a heavy lure. You can't really cast like uh, rooster tails or anything with these poles, but uh, I a heavy lure. I have the topwater frog, does work really good. And uh, so you're gonna tighten your tension up quite a bit. Your tension knob, this little knob right here, tighten it up. Uh, your lure. <laughs> so, you see my lure? I'm gonna take this little tension knob. Well, first off, you're gonna reel your lure up pretty high about that far from the top. You're gonna tighten your tension knob up. You're gonna click down your butt. And I'm just gonna loosen this tension knob until you see a spool drop. Like that. And my lure is slowly dropping. And boom, it hit the ground. No bird's nest. And I'm gonna turn mine down just a little bit more than that. Just all on how you turn yours down. How it's all on just how you prefer your stuff, but Obviously, some people are going to have different settings than others. And now that you got your setup like that, you got your bait caster, you go cast out in your yard. Just go cast it upon. I just cast it in my room. That was cool. I'm not actually bird's nested. So I smoked it. Oh. I have really thick line on this pole. I really don't need thick line. Oh yeah, by the way guys, uh, thin line, not thin line, but like, thinner, I mean like thinner line, it don't really matter how thick it is, as long as it's thin. Like how, how thick it is. What pound it is, I would prefer nothing more than 25. I have 30 pound mono right now and it's not good. <laughs> it's so thick. Look how thick this line is, it's so thick. I need to get some thinner line, so, yeah, bad. Like really bad or need more line or thinner line and more line. Yeah, I don't have a lot of line in here. And uh, it helps too if you uh, always uh, when you cast, like if you do a hard cast, I just kind of hold my finger just lightly over the spool while I'm casting, and then right before it drops, I put my finger on the spool to completely stop it. If you do a kind of light cast and your brakes aren't turned off, off that much, you just kind of right before it stops, do that. You don't have to kind of just feather it. But yeah, those are some good tips that will help you a lot. And, uh, yeah, bait casters, honestly, I mean, spinning rods, just honestly, is cool. They're just... They're not honestly just as cool. They're better, but they're not as cool as popular as bait casters. Bait casters are really fun. Spinning reels, they're really good for throwing light lures and heavy lures. So I have Madden playing. I'm about to put Madden. Oh, I'm kicking off. Let me know if I should start uh, kick streaming, guys. I kind of want to. Oh, I'm going to pause there. But yeah, I've been kind of wanting to get in kick. Anyways, guys, that's how you cast your bait caster in five minutes. Quick tips. Just like that, we're out.